Ruth Heller's How to Hide a Polar Bear and Other Mammals. With special thanks to Margaret G. Bradbury, PhD, Professor of Biology, San Francisco State University. This is the title page. If you take a careful look, you'll see how creatures in this book are camouflaged and out of view, although they're right in front of you. A polar bear will only go where there is lots of ice and snow. Its fur is always white, you know, so it will hardly even show. The snowshoe hair is turning brown because the snow is melting down. And when there's only snow in patches, you will find that this hair matches. This dappled deer will disappear into the filtered sunlight. Here. A zebra doesn't seem to be a creature who hides easily, but in the shade behind a tree, its silhouette is hard to see. The lazy leopard likes to lie upon a leafy limb where leaves and bark and sunshine and his spots have hidden him. The color of the lion and the color of his mane and the color of the grass that grows upon the plain all seem to be the same. Because the sloths so very slow, green algae find the time to grow and thrive upon its thick, coarse hair. Then you can hardly tell it's there. Because the world is hostile, all creatures need protection. They need to hide so thoroughly that they defy detection. So, some of them use camouflage to fade away with ease from predators who like to dine upon these predators. But predators to live must eat, so also fade and are discreet and then their prey on which they sup can't see who's going to eat them up. The end.